The global race for 5G continues, and top telecommunications companies are competing to develop the technology. And not only are there national security concerns, but now some public safety ones as well. RT Sarah Montez de Oca explains 5G looks exciting, but does it come with a cost, Sarah? Yes, Scotty, actually. And on Wednesday, the Federal Communications Commission asked the House Technology Committee to postpone a 5G spectrum auction that was originally scheduled for today. Now, they're citing a potential threat to public safety. Chairman and ranking member of the Science, Space and Technology Committee, U.S. Representatives Eddie Johnson and Frank Lucas wrote letters to five FCC commissioners noting some of these public concerns. Three federal groups, NASA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the Pentagon use sensors that track data for analyzing weather and climate. Johnson and Lucas wrote the water vapor channel is critical to weather sensing, monitoring, forecasting and warning and understanding climate patterns. Any interferences with this channel would therefore seriously impact public safety. But the FCC pushed back on their concerns and said that it went through standard procedures. Now, head of FCC Media Relations noted the importance of the auction. Now, they're trying to secure the race for 5G. However, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs defended China's 5G technology and said the U.S. should not be uncomfortable with using it. In fact, for some time now, more and more people from all over the world have shown an increasingly accepting attitude toward the participation of Chinese technology companies in 5G development. The U.S. should not be uncomfortable about this. Instead, it should recognize that all countries have the legitimate right to develop themselves. I believe most countries are able to decide their own policies independently. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, the nation's largest cell phone carrier, Verizon, announced they will launch the nation's first 5G network. Owners of the Motorola Moto Z3 phones, like the one you see here, will be able to purchase 5G Moto Mode that give them access to Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network. The press release notes, not all 5G networks are the same. Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network is built by the company with the nation's best and most reliable 4G LTE network. It'll change the way we live, work, learn, and play, starting in Chicago and Minneapolis and rapidly expanding to more than 30 U.S. markets just this year. But 5G capability means boosting wireless signals by 10 times the current speed. 5G network will be built on small cell site technology with antennas that are as close as 500 feet apart from each other. Many cell, many, many cell stations will be placed all throughout our neighborhoods and cities. This comes with some health security concerns. According to experts, uh, 5G is ultra high frequency and ultra high intensity. The higher the frequency, the more dangerous it is to living organisms. And 4G LTE is already causing some outrage. At a San Joaquin Elementary School in California, after a fourth child has been diagnosed with cancer, parents believe it's because of radiation that has been caused by a cell tower that's only 4G LTE. This is less powerful than 5G. Some parents pulled their children from attending school from the spike in cancer cases, while more than 200 students stayed home in protest on Monday. Parents went before the school, school board, and they're demanding some actions. The Ripon Unified School District carried out tests on cell phone towers and said that it's working normally and within the safety standards. But the board is holding talks with the telecommunications company to remove the tower. Now, mother of the second son that was diagnosed with cancer in just three years said we had a doctor tell us that it's 100% environmental, the kind of tumor that he has. Scotty, while the world pushes for faster internet and dominance in tech innovation, this is only the beginning of 5G. There are still so many unanswered questions that I'm sure will be coming to light in the near future. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.